In this video, I will show you how to give access to your team members to your system.io account. So if you're working with an assistant or multiple assistants and need to give them access to your accounts, they can do stuff in there for you, then this is how you do it. Now, a great thing about this is that you'll be able to give your assistants access to your account without having to give them your password. Good, good, good. And they'll also not have access to your sensitive information in your account. And while they can access a lot of things and do things on your behalf, like creating funnels and creating pages and building websites and managing support and things like that, they won't be able to access your entire email list or download your entire email list or anything like that, which is a good safeguard. However, if your assistant is running support for you, then they will be able to search for contacts based on an individual email address so they can give individual support to any of your customers or contacts that need it. So this is all really handy. Now, before we get started, if you're currently using your free plan of System.io and you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan, then you can get 40% off your System.io account via the link in the description below this video. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Now, once you're on your System.io account, to give access to your team members, you first need to head over to the top right, hover over the icon menu and click settings. And that's going to bring you to this page here. Then on this page, navigate down to the bottom left corner and select this option, which is workspace members. And now here is where you can add your team members. So to add a team member, click the button, the top right labeled invite. And now here is where you can enter the email address of your first team member and then click the invite button. And now you'll see a page that looks like this where you have your team members listed here. So currently there's only one, of course, and next to it, initially, because I've just set it up, you'll see this little icon next to the email address, which indicates that the assistant account is not yet confirmed. So what will happen now is your assistant will receive an email from system.io to give them the access. And once they follow the instructions in that email, they'll then have access to your system.io account. And this icon will change to a green tick, which will indicate a confirmed status. And once you first set this up, that email will be sent to your assistant, usually within a couple of minutes. Now, when your assistant receives that email, if it doesn't come into their primary inbox, then also ask them to check their promotions folder or their spam folder. So here is that email in the promotions folder, and it looks like this. So it's sent from you as the primary account holder, and the subject line is invitation to join a system.io workspace. Now, in this email, the only thing your team member will need to do is to click this link here to accept the invitation to join your workspace. Now, at this point, if they don't have their own system.io account, then they'll be directed to a page where they can create their own username and password to access your account as a team member. However, if they already have their own system to your account and providing their joining your workspace team with that same email address that they use for their existing account, then they'll be able to access your account within their account and toggle between your account and their account. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to click this link to accept the invitation and then they'll be logged into your account with their team member access. So if you look at the top left here, they now have this toggle where they can toggle between your account or their own account here. And your account from their perspective will look pretty much the same, but there's a few differences. As you notice, they don't have access to your affiliate account. If we look at contacts, they can't see your whole contacts list. However, they can search for individual emails. So if you're getting this person to run support for you, your team member will be able to look up individual accounts of customers based on the specific email address that they can search for. They can also access other things like your pipelines, your websites, blogs, sales funnels and digital stores, your automated email campaigns and so on. Now I've logged back into my primary account. So if we head back down to Workspaces members, we will see that, that assistant that we gave access to, their status has changed to confirmed. Now something that's important to be aware of is that you can give two types of access to your assistants. So if you come over to the right hand side and click on edit role here, you've got the option to add them as an assistant or as an admin. Now, if you add them as an admin, they'll pretty much have full access to your account and be able to access just as much as you can, except they still won't be able to download your entire contacts list. So I'd only state this option for highly trusted team members or even just limit that to yourself only and otherwise only give team members assistant access only. Now with assistant access, these are the things that they'll be able to access within your account. They can work on your data. And like I said earlier, they can search individually for contacts. They can't access your full contacts list. They can access and manage your tags as well as work on your sales funnels, newsletters, campaigns, email statistics, logs, automation rules, workflows, physical products, coupons, orders. When it comes to your transactions, so assistants can't see the full list of transactions, but they can search for specific transactions for a given customer by their email address, similar to how they can search for any of your subscribers within your contacts via a given email address for that subscriber. And subscriptions, assistants can't see the full list of subscriptions, but they can search for specific customers via email and they can access affiliate invoices. So if you're running your own affiliate program, and of course you need to pay your affiliates for the work they've done, they can access those invoices and courses, course bundles, and students. 
Now, if you give admin access, as I said, they can pretty much access almost everything you can. And assistants will also be able to invite other assistants to join the workspace as well. And they'll have access to your entire account, including sales, all contacts and transactions and so on. The only real difference beyond what you can do with your own account is that an assistant with admin access won't be able to export your entire contact list. So be very careful on who you give admin access to. So back in your account, you can toggle them between admin or assistant. And then if at any point you need to remove an assistant, all you need to do is come over to the dots menu on the right hand side and click delete. And that assistant is now removed. Very simple. Now, if you want to check out the assistant.io help doc in more detail, so you can get your head around exactly what assistants and admins will have access to and what they won't, then I'll leave a link in the description below this video to this help doc so it's easy for you to find it. So there you go. That's how you can give admin access or assistant access to your team members to access your system.io account. Now, if you've got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need any more help with system.io, then I've got lots of step-by-step -step tutorials on different aspects of system.io on my channel. And you can see my system.io playlist right here.